hi guys welcome to this video on ngrx in angular 16 so in the previous video i talked about and created this small application added some actions reducer and explained you how to set up configure and use ngrx in angular projects and uh, this is the small app that i created which is the to-do application we can add the to-do we can remove and we can change the status of each to-do and all this is happening through the actions, reducers, dispatch functions, components, selectors. So I will be moving on with this. This is actually a constant data. If I show you my reducer, you can see that this is the initial state for that reducer. And this array contains one object. So if I refresh, this will show up that default one object, which is added over here. And this reducer is going to have these functions on and these are the action names so check out my previous video if you don't know how to set up uh, ngrx in angular 16 but in this video i'm going to show you that how we can fetch the data from api and store it in our store uh, using actions reducers and make it available over here and after that we can perform crud stuff that we are doing just now okay and in angular ngrx there is a concept called effects that is quite useful so let's go ahead and create few services and effects to fetch this data and the list of to do's from the api so i'll be using this public api to fetch all the to do's you can see that it is using the same properties which i have added in the initial state and also in the model here to do dot model dot ts okay so now first of all what i need to do is i need to create a service and inside that service i will be needing to call that api so in my terminal i'll be creating a new service nggs and then i'll be creating a new folder services and uh, i will be naming it to do okay so it will be created over here you can see that it has created this service all right so first of all what we need to do is we need to import few stuff i'm going to write import HTTP client and then from angular HTTP actually it is angular common HTTP okay and then I need to get an observable because whenever we call an API it returns an observable so I'll be writing observable which is from rxjs okay uh, so let's import the model to actually add some return type uh, and uh, for that function that I'll be creating below in this file so I'm going to add to do and this is the model okay so in this class I'm going to be creating a new variable and I'll be storing API URL inside it okay so let's copy it from the browser which I've added here so I'm going to be copying in this alright so in this constructor I'm gonna be creating an object for the HTTP client which I have uh, added above okay below this constructor let's add a function get to do's and it is of return type to do and then I'll be returning it this dot HTTP get URL like this and uh, here I need to add the type to do of type array all right so that's pretty much it we need to do in this file now next let's go to our action file which we created in the last video and this is the action for adding one to do this is for toggling that checkbox this is for removing one to do let's create another action and I'm going to name that action let's say load to do's const load to do's all right so let's add create action and the parentheses and inside it we need to give it a name and uh, we need to give it some props so i'm going to give it to do's and load to do's and after this let's give the props to it so props would be of type to do's array so then inside this object I'll be writing to do's and then to do of type array 
all right and this props is actually a function so i'll be ending it with a function just like these functions okay so we are done with this action now i'll be dispatching this action once we fetch the data from the api i'll be dispatching this action to actually store the data in the store okay and um, next we need to create our effect file so i can create a new folder so let's create a new folder inside this store so i'm going to name it effects so inside this effect i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to name it to do.effects.ts all right so this is the main file that will be responsible to use that service and fetch the data from it so i will be needing to import few stuff at the top and uh, i'll be just copy pasting this stuff over here so then i will be writing injectable and then export class to do effects and this all right and let's add a constructor and i'll be adding the actions let's add a dollar sign as a convention to it and then i'll be writing private to do service and then the to do service which is the service we created at the start of this video okay so after this constructor we need to create our effect and that effect is very important and this is the main point which we need to understand okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to uh, create a name for that so in order to avoid the confusion in naming let's add a dollar sign at the end this is just a convention and as you have seen at the top i have imported few stuff from the ngrx effects one is the actions and uh, other one is the create effect which will be using to create an effect and off type is to check that which action this effect belongs to you know that currently we on, we have these four actions and this off type is to match which action is dispatched and which action which effect needs to be triggered based upon the dispatched action type so i let you know what do i mean by that so first of all let's try to write create effect and this is an arrow function and inside it uh, we we can avoid this curly braces let's try to add something here so i'll be writing this dot actions and this is from the actions and i'll be writing pipe and inside it i'll be writing off type to do action dot load to do's okay so we can actually create multiple effects in this effects class like this is the one we can have another effect we can have hundreds of effect in this to do effect okay so whenever anything is dispatched for a particular effect uh, our execution compiler is going to verify that which uh, effect needs to be executed through this line of type so this is the name of that action okay and after this i will be using the exhaust map and then the arrow function inside it i need to call that service so to do service load to do's uh, let me go and uh, this is actually get to do's so get to do's dot pipe and then i will be writing map to do's to do of type array okay and then arrow function we can write the to do actions and then the load to do's which is the action and then inside it we need to pass the to do's which we have fetched okay let's save it to make it a bit look nicer and uh, this is off type and i will explain you further about this concept now next thing we need to do is we need to go to our reducer file and we need to 
update the store with the new data once this API is called through the service. So I'll be writing to do dot reducer dot TS and uh, inside it we need to have another on function and I will be writing load to do's. So at the top, this is load to do have been imported. This is the action. And once this action is dispatched, we can get the state and then we can get the to do's. Okay. And after this, we can use the spread operator state and then to do's. After this, let's add a comma. So actually it should be only with the state. So now I'm getting the current state, which would be empty. Let's make this empty because we need to fetch the data and fill it up through the API and get the state and fill up with the to do's, which is coming from that dispatch function. So this is pretty much it. We need to do in this file. All right. So final thing we need to do, which I already did in the last video is to import this effects module from the ngrx effect and it gives you the for root function and inside it we need to give the name of that effect which we have created over here this one this is the name to do effect so i'll start writing to it so that it gets imported automatically so let's say to do effects this one so it has been imported and it has been added over here. All right. And the uh, final thing we need to do is we need to dispatch the action. So we can dispatch the actions in any of the component. Uh, let's do it in the to do list. So in here, let's try to add a hook ng on init. And also let's try to implement that as well on init. It should be imported here. Yes. And inside it, since this is actually subscribed to that store and this is the variable where the data is being stored. Okay. Since we know that our action props is receiving the to do's array. So we need to pass that to do's array, which is receiving over here to that action while dispatching. So I'll be writing this dot store dot dispatch. And uh, then I will be writing load to do's and it should be imported above like this. It has been imported and uh, then this is a function and I need to give it an object and let's give the to do's and then this dot to do's. So this dot to do is actually ending with the dollar sign. So I'm adding here. All right. So let's go and test this out. So npm run start and it has started. Now let's go and check out on the browser whether it loads all the data and uh, it is showing no error luckily. So let's go over here in here. Let's refresh and uh, it should show console log null injector error. No provider for HTM client. Okay. So I'm going to go in this app dot module and we need to add the provider here for the HTTP client, which we are using. So we have to import that over here. So I'm going to write HTTP client module, this one, and I'm just going to copy and paste over here. So let's save it. Let's refresh. Awesome. So it is fetched all the data from the API and it is showing the content over here. Let's refresh again. And you can see that it has fetched all the data from the API and let's try to remove and it is getting removed now. And this is getting printed. The updated state is getting printed because our whole state is subscribed only in this particular component to do list. And this is where whenever state changes, this is going to get subscribed and this to do array is going to get updated. And this is where it is printing the to do's array. And as we are removing, you can see that its number is getting decreased. All right, let's try to change it. 
so it's getting changed let's try to add a new to do so it's added i think at the bottom yes it is added let's try to remove it and it has been removed so it is now fetching the data from that api all right so now let's discuss few more things in effects in ngrx so currently as you can see that i have added uh, this one to do effect in this array if we have more than one effect let's say we have other features in our app analytics settings auth uh, graphs students list reviews comments blog posts for and for all that data we have that effect file we have created so then we can add a comma and then we can add new effects over here if that have so currently we only have one effect so what happens is uh, let me explain you the flow in this file so what happens is whenever this component triggers it actually dispatches that load to do's with that data initially this is uh, actually empty at the start and in this effect since we have configured that effect file in our app.module.ts file it means that it will automatically going to check the effects that whether it is actually calling some kind of api or accessing some kind of services and since this to do effect is added in our app.module.file it can have multiple effects as i've explained you already it can have effect to add a new to do through api it can have a create effect function for deleting a to do through that api since i'm using the public api it does not provide updating or deleting apis because they don't want their db to be updated with junks of our data so if we have this let's copy this and let's add so i can have add to do like this and everything will be same i assume instead i will be replacing this action over here so add to do i will be adding over here and this is where whenever the compiler is going to go through all these effects created over here it go, it's going to match this name which action it is okay then it's going to perform the next logic and after this since we are actually calling this function from the service obviously when we will be adding a new to do in the database using an api we will probably be creating a new function like add to do passing some data as a parameters to it and then uh, calling the post request and along with the url we'll be giving some body data after that something like that so we will be needing to add that function over here okay and then uh, we need to receive that data over here and uh, this data and after this we might need to call that action which we have added over here and we can pass the data to that okay so this is how the flow of effects work and uh, we can add as much logic as we want over here depending upon our requirement and in ngrx in angular we use effects to call the apis through services it is a recommended practice so i think i have completed pretty much everything in ngrx including effects calling apis actions reducers and uh, selectors store state management and uh, with the examples so i'm putting a lot of effort creating these videos so if you are liking my videos you should hit the subscribe button and the bell icon thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos